So welcome back. So everything was running in the old solution where we had the data access layer right here. Um, and um, I just want to show you that so that you know what we're actually going to do here. So um, I, I just started both applications now. I have the web API up and running and also the, the MVC application up and running. And this is kind of the first goal for me for the first lesson. So I want to kind of be able to present the list of wishes again inside my wishes uh, application in the MVC here. But I want to do it instead of actually using um, a local layered, instead of using the DLL directly here, I want to start using this guy, the REST API. So that's the first goal of the next lessons. That's actually creating the REST API, moving the data access layer over. Like I talked about before, right now the data access layer is actually right here. I want to move it from here to here. So that's the first lesson. We're going to move this from here to here and let's see how that works out. Um, so let's just uh, stop the application and I'll just keep the REST API. That'll be the one I stop here. Now I want to add a new project here. So I want to do like right click this guy, the solution. I want to say add new project. And instead of saying um, add a new one, I want to add an existing project. Now, the problem is that I haven't moved my current project into this folder. So I'm not going to share solution folder with the MVC solution because then I would start binding them together. So I want to find the real folder. So let's open the Explorer here. Let's go into our person application. Here we have two different packages. We have the person application DLL and the person application web app. Now this is the MVC solution. This is the data logic layer solution. That's the one we want to port from here. Well, keep it here and then I'll make a copy and I'll move it into the new folder that I made called REST API solution and I'll paste it in here. Okay, that's the first step. I'll clean it up. I'll say I don't want the bin folder to stay. I don't want the object folder to stay. So let's just delete those. Um, to make a clean solution here. So I'll delete this guy, you're gone. I'll delete this guy, you're gone. Now I'm pretty much, much a clean solution right here um, with all the things that we need, but without all the stuff from the old solution. So I want to add now, let me just try and do this again. I want to add an existing project here that's clean. So I'll say existing project, it'll pop into my folder of the solution. And now I just made a new folder in here, right? that I copied from the other solution. There it pops up there, add existing project. I'm going into the REST API solution. I'm going to pick this DLL package right here, the project folder, uh, the project file. And that's how I kind of grab this folder in here. So now I have my person application DLL, the one that was here before. I just pulled that over here now, right? I also have a copy of it here for now. It doesn't matter. We'll just keep it there for now. Later, we'll remove it and add the proxy setup instead. But right now I just moved the DLL. So I kind of did this now. I grab this guy and I just copied him over here. Okay, so now he's in here and I can start using it in the REST API. Let's go back to the project just to show you. Uh, the next thing I want to do is, of course, add a reference here. So I'll right click and I'll say add reference like this. I'll reference this guy. So now we're actually ready to work with this setup. I'll do a clean and a build just to make sure everything is without errors. And then we'll stop this video. So I'll do a rebuild of everything. And then next time we can actually build our first controller if everything is up and running. And that's my goal. Let's see the error list if something pops up. Rebuild successful, everything works. So now we're actually ready to make our first controller on our own. See you in the next lesson.